hello friends today in this video we will be building a react country select list here where you can select your countries based upon all the countries let me launch this application and pm start so this will start the react here server at localhost 3000 So now you can see this is a select list which contains all the countries in the world with their names you can select any country in the world here so i will be showing you how to implement this inside your react.js application we are using a simple node.js module for this so to create this automated uh, select list of all the countries in the world so it is very much useful in all the applications when you make any sort of country related application you need this select box so I will be showing you how to do this. If you want the full source code of the application, you can go to the video description link. You will need this dependency react-select-country list. Let me show you how to do this. So first you will need react-select dependency also. So install this also. NPMI. This will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds and it will inst install all this dependency. NPMI react dash select dash country dash list also install this after you create your react.js project so i have already installed it so now i will write the complete code from scratch so we will have our functional component so i will at the last i will export this export default app And inside return, I will just have a simple div which will say hello world. So if I once again launch this React.js application, you will see nothing will be there except hello world. You can see hello world is printed out. Now we need to simply include this dependency at the very top here right up inside your markup if you just read the documentation it is really given well here first you will need to have uh, some hooks also that is value comma set value for this we will use the use state hook and the default value will be nothing and we need to import this hook from react.js from react after that we also will be using memo as well use memo So this will be automatically imported you will see at the very top so inside this we will be importing all the countries which are there by the help of this country list method for this you will need to have imported the dependency so first i will import the very first dependency which is select react select you can see and then we need to import the second dependency which we have installed which is country list react select country list and now we after importing it now we can call the simple method country list dot get values so this will return all the countries which are there this will be get data and comma and an empty array that's it after that inside this div we just need to return a simple select here which we have imported here at the very top and we need to have if you just refresh it and you will see if I refresh the application nothing will be there we need to 
propagate some options here in the select list so the options will be simply will be equal to the options that we have defined still nothing on the screen because we haven't provided the value and the on change so value will be equal to value which we have defined and on change this will be custom function change handler so we need to define this function So it is saying change handler is not defined. So we need to define it at the very top here. So it, it will be passing the value whichever the country has selected by the user. Automatically a value will be passed here and then we just need to call set value. Use state hook function and set this value to e that's it i think this needs to be on the same line Oh, sorry I was running the wrong application so this is the application guys you can see So now you will see all the countries have been there you will see in this way you can construct a react select list of all the countries in the world with their respective names with the help of these dependencies react select country list if you want the full source code you can go to the video description link please like the video hit the subscribe button and i will be seeing you in the next video